Welcome back to our workshop. Today we're going to be showing you how to polish and uh, lubricate the key pins. Um, uh, on, a, on a piano key, it um, sits on, on two key pins. Back here is a balance rail pin, and up here in the front, underneath the front, there's a front rail pin. Okay, so you can see there's two pins, and here I've taken off a section of keys so you can see the, the pins real easily. Um, and uh, one thing that makes uh, piano keys glide and, and work more smoothly is if those pins are, are nice and polished and, and smooth and slippery. If they've got uh, corrosion on them or dirt or, or anything, um, the, the, the key won't go down as easily and there will be um, a little bit of sluggish. It can cause a little bit of friction or sluggishness in the keys. So... <clears throat> um, it's a pretty basic this uh, pretty basic uh, process. This job uh, is generally um, easily done, especially when you're uh, replacing the felts, either the front rail and balance rail felts, so that um, you know you've already got the keys off. Uh, you know, usually when you go through and do this, you want to go through and vacuum um, underneath where the keys are, and um, and uh, you just get all the dust and dirt, which I've already done here, to um, in preparation for polishing the key pins. And I will be replacing these um, these felts, but here what I've done is taken off some. And generally, what I'll do is, you know, I won't do all of them at once, but maybe just take off a section of uh, of the felts and felt and paper cardboard punchings off of that, because generally there's. There's some. Uh, there will always be felts, but uh, oftentimes and usually there's some paper or cardboard punchings underneath them. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll take them off and just set the punchings right in front of the pin that they go to, uh, and then when I'm done, I'll, I'll put them back on so they don't get get lost out of place. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, check uh, the condition of the key pins. Um, if they've got any corrosion or rust, if it's just a slight amount, um, you know, you can we can clean them up. If it's uh, if they're heavily corroded, like if they're just totally covered in rust, um, you know, then you need to replace the key pins. But um, yeah, you know, in in most cases, you you know, they can be cleaned up and polished. And um, now, if they do have a little bit of surface rust, like these do, um, you can use some steel wool. Here we've got. Um, the quadruple zero uh, steel wool. You can either use uh, the triple zero or the quadruple zero uh, steel wool. So, um, and you want to what you want to do is you want to just use it uh, lightly so that um, you don't sand off or uh, file off the the uh, the plating on the pin. Okay, so just uh, lightly to remove that that little bit of rust. Okay, just gently, again. Okay, and you may not have any uh, corrosion or anything, but uh, if you feel it, it may not be as slippery as you want, and that's where we want to uh, clean it and polish it and get it. You get it nice and smooth and slippery for the keys to move up and down. So once you've, uh, you know, taken care of any f f um, surface rust or corrosion, um, we're going to use a, a metal polish. I like to use Flitz, okay, which uh, comes in a bottle like this. Flitz polish, it's for metal, um, but you could, there are others as well, but uh, Flitz is a really good one. <coughs> I put a little bit in a jar so that my pipe cleaner can get down in it, okay, and that's what you want to use. Um, you can use... Um, a Q-tip, which I've used, but a pipe cleaner usually works a little bit better. And what I do is I fold it in half, and then I dip that down inside the the flitz. Okay, not getting too much, but then I'll go through and just um, cover the pin. Okay, and uh, and then what you'll do is you'll take a paper towel or some kind of a soft cloth. You can use a, uh, a cloth to and then just rub that pin. And what I'll usually do is I'll do several at a time. Okay, once I've got the, the flitz on my pipe cleaner, I'll go through and, and coat that on several because one dip of the pipe cleaner and the flitz will do yeah, probably four or five or six pins 
<clears throat> okay, and uh, once you've got that, then you can go through. And you want to make sure you don't knock your punchings off. And again, it doesn't take too much, but... Um, I don't, know if, you know, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but uh, these pins are quite a bit shinier now after uh, after just a little bit of polish with the flits. And again, it doesn't take much, but um, <clears throat> we've done that. Now, once um, once you've uh, polished them and they're nice and shiny and clean, we we'll want to put a lubricant. Um, Protex CLP is a good uh, product to use. For those of you overseas, uh, um, you might realize that we can't ship this to you, unfortunately. We would if we could, but federal government doesn't allow us to do that. So, um, But if you can get your hands, if you're in this country, and get some, get your hands on some Protex CLP. It's a good lubricant. Otherwise, any kind of a dry film lubricant in liquid form uh, will work good for it. And what, uh, what I'm going to do is, again, just take another pipe cleaner, fold it in half, dip it down into the lubricant. And here we can just go down over the pin. And what that does is that puts a, a lubricant, lubricant film onto the pin. To help protect it and and there we go so um, and then what you'll do is uh, you know the, here we've been showing you on the front rail pins but uh, you can do the same same exact procedure back here on the balance rail pins here I took off the punchings <coughs> and set them uh, set them right uh, next to the to the pins so that I can remember what I had on each pin, and again, if you're, it's a good thing to do when you're replacing the felts <coughs> and, the, and the punchings. Um, if you're going through and regulating the keyboard, to do it at that time, because then you're already removing the felts. So you only you can kill two birds with one stone. <coughs> so uh, that's the process of polishing and, and lubricating the key pins. Fairly easy, and it really. Um, uh, improves the playability of your piano, especially if you've got a lot of rust and corrosion on the key pins. So please feel free, feel free to visit our website. It's howardpianoindustries.com or go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. <clears throat>